It's not lost on me what my election means for, for my community, for the Latino community. Uh, being a kid from San Bernardino, having an opportunity to help guide this caucus is a great responsibility, and I don't take it lightly. California Congressman Pete Aguilar, after his election as House Democratic Caucus chair last fall, making him the highest ranked Latino to ever serve in the House. Our contributor Maria Elena Salinas met up with Aguilar in San Bernardino. Congressman Pete Aguilar's success story is the American dream, a fourth generation Mexican American who rose from city council to mayor to congressman to House Democrats third in command. We sat down with Aguilar at Mitla Cafe, a staple of his youth. It's like being, being home. That's what this place means to me. It's, uh, my family's been coming here for uh, multiple generations. My dad grew up around the corner. Aguilar is currently the highest ranking Latino in Congress, a distinction he does not take lightly. It's a sense of, of opportunity. You know, my story is uh, not very different than so many other you know, Latinos who you know, grew up in, in uh, communities where they had to work hard to, to get by. As chairman of the House Democratic Caucus, it's Aguilar's job to unite congressional Democrats on legislation, party issues, and to reach across the aisle to find consensus. What issues do you feel that you and, them and Republicans can have common ground on? I think there has been common ground on the ability of, for dreamers uh, to become citizens. We have Republicans on board with that. Uh, then I think you have farm worker modernization bills and a reform to that system grounded in you know, rural Republicans realizing that they need labor. Now, the Democratic Party believes that we need you know, strong border security as well. Um, we genuinely believe that, and we believe in the rule of law. But those, to me, seem like three strong pillars that we can look at um, that have strong bipartisan support. In his nearly 10 years in Congress, Aguilar has sought common ground on immigration and has made protecting so-called dreamers one of his top priorities. But so far, efforts to do so have fallen flat. The Senate uh, introduced a bill to help guide dreamers toward um, legalization of their status. This has been happening for decades now, and it never comes to fruition. You know, what can, needs to happen to, to make it a reality? Well, I think, I think we need more friends and allies in the United States Senate, and I can respect that at certain times, you know, the House has been at fault and the Senate's been at fault. But in the last 10 years, uh, Democrats have continually put these bills on the floor and Republicans have stood in the way on the House side to see any real reform happen. But DACA is only one layer of the immigration issue. Another is the border. How do you think President Biden is doing at the border? You know, I think, I think the grade would be incomplete, right? There's, there's plenty to do. Um, we know that it's a humanitarian issue down, down at the southern border. So how do you find the balance between a border that is overwhelmed, because it obviously is overwhelmed, and respecting the legal right of, of migrants to seek asylum? I think, the, I think the president's trying to do that now by, by increasing the pathways that people have to declare asylum so they can declare asylum in their home countries or while they are in transit. Um, less while they are you know, at the border physically. As a Latino, Aguilar has been quick to point out that the demographic doesn't only care about immigration and acknowledges his party has lost some ground with Latino voters. I think that how we, how we talk to voters, how we meet them, you know, where they are, how we talk about the issues with them, you know, really is important. And there's no cookie cutter way to talk about Latino issues. We need to realize that. We need to have a plan to talk to uh, those voters and, and those individuals, um, and I think that we need to do a better job of that. Back in the place that launched his political career, Aguilar is already thinking ahead. The biggest challenge is making sure that we communicate to the American public the legislative achievements that we've had. Uh, we understand it's going to be it's going to be a difficult time to, to pass a lot of big pieces of legislation. Uh, we can still get some things done, but over the next two years, implementing this agenda that the president has has accomplished with Congress uh, is going to be the focus of what we do. Thanks to Maria Elena for that. 
Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.